What's going on everyone, Jack here from Half Chrome and this is the Beta FPV Meteor 75 Pro. And this is a different take on a Tiny Whoop. Beta FPV did something different with this quad than they have, or really anyone has, on a 75 millimeter frame. And actually, not really 75 millimeters, it's 80. And uh, this is really pretty good. So stay tuned and I'll tell you about it. So when we compare it to a standard 75 millimeter quad, you can tell that it's bigger and it's about five millimeters bigger, right? So from motor post to motor post, it's just over 80 millimeters. They still call it a 75. I'm not sure why, but they do. Um, but the props are actually substantially larger at 45 millimeters. That's going to do a couple of different things. It's going to give you more thrust, more power, and more flight time. This thing is awesome. A lot of people really like the 75 millimeter frame uh, because they're gonna be a little bit more powerful than say a traditional 65 millimeter whoop, right? A traditional 65 millimeter whoop has 31 millimeter props. Uh, they're usually pushing 0802, maybe 0702 motors. Now Beta FPV did them one better um, and they upgraded these props. They're 34 millimeters, I think. So a little bit bigger props, so you get a little bit more power, a little more thrust. Uh, but we stuck with the 0802 motors. Then you get to a full 75 millimeter quad like this Mobula 7. Um, we got the 0802 motors and a 40 millimeter prop. So more power and more flight time still. So you make it a little bigger to 45 millimeters, more power, more flight time. Now, not only is that different, but these motors are also different. They're also pretty darn big. They're 1102, 22,000 kV motors. So they're bigger and heavier, but they're also more powerful. And this is the most powerful 1S quad that I've ever flown. This thing's got some get up and go. Now it makes for an awesome outdoor flyer. So yeah, I can absolutely fly this Mobula 7 outside. This Meteor 75 Pro is absolutely the best outside ripper for a 1S quad that I think you can get right now. I really like flying this thing. It is pretty darn agile, pretty darn powerful, and it does a nice job of doing, you know, little freestyle moves. I'm not going to tell you this flies like a five inch, but it is the closest thing you can get, I think, with these ducted props on a 1S battery. Speaking of 1S batteries, it comes with this 550 milliamp hour battery, which is a little bit bigger than the 450 milliamp hour batteries that come on most of the 75 millimeter quads or that you fly with. Now it does have this BT 2.0 connector, um, which is really the best connector you can get for tiny whoops. This connector here uh, just is the most efficient. You don't lose power. There isn't a bottleneck going on here like you will with say something that has a BT 2.0 connection. So uh, that is nice to see. Um, other things that I really like about this drone, uh, the the camera is adjustable, not quite as much as I'd like to see. Uh, it does a little bit better if you were to buy one of these other canopies. They've got canopies in lots of different colors, and it looks like that hole is a little bit larger. Um, so I can go all the way down to zero, but I'm guessing you probably don't need to do that. Lots of different uh, fun color options should you choose to go that route. Now mine is the analog version, which is less expensive. I think it's $120 for the analog quad and you're going to add a hundred or so dollars if you want to go walk snail or HD zero, which you could if you're looking for an HD FPV feed. Now this one being a standard uh, camera, standard analog camera, it's okay. Um, and the VTX here is power switchable from 25 to 400 milliwatts. I think the biggest weak point on really almost all of these beta FPV quads that I've flown is their VTX. Um, so, you know, I can't speak to this one. I've only got, I don't know, a dozen or so flights in on this guy. So I couldn't tell you, you know, if this VTX is still the problem, uh, but I haven't had great luck with them in the past. Uh, one of the things that make this uh, special is this uh, flight controller. We got this small X style controller that allows the props to kind of eat into this space on the side, um, allow them to just get a little bit bigger. That's the same trick 
that they did here with this um, old 65 style where you got the bigger props on the smaller quads. So Beta FPB has been doing stuff like that for a while. Other things that are hard to see in here is uh, the way that this frame was designed, these motors kind of just slot in there. They're kind of like little triangle slots that they fit right in, um, which kind of makes it easier to get these screws into place. Uh, sometimes you, you, know, you really kind of have to finagle, but that's a, a, a design um, element to the frame that is, uh, that is well done. Uh, this canopy is sturdy, but also pretty light. And they do give you some components you can put on top here. Um, I left them in the package. Makes it look like a knight, but just kind of adds extra weight. I don't know why they're doing that. They have that theme with all of their quads. This is the Beta 85, uh, 85 HD. Uh, maybe there's a pro in there in the name. I'm not sure. And it's you can see it's actually pretty close to the same size, but uh, this guy here will fly in two or three S um, and this one has an HD camera. This is awesome, uh, but it is pretty powerful to fly inside, which is actually the case with this guy too. But I did something that I think, I think you should do if you plan to fly this indoors and you absolutely could. And that is put a throttle cut on your radio. Now I put a throttle cut on my boxer here. I'm um, I have a video on how to do that. I did it with the Zorro. <clears throat> the process is the same, but basically when I click this switch down, right, then this S1 switch um, is my throttle. So when I have it turned all the way up here, my throttle will go to 100. So as you see, it goes to 100. But then as I kind of dial it back, right? I can make my throttle just go up to 50 or even 25, right? So it's kind of nice to be able to play with this here and uh, make it a little bit more tame and actually get, get a little bit more flight time out of it as well if I'm not just constantly burning the throttle. If that's something you want to do, link in the description down below to the video I did with the Zorro. Now I did check, this is already running Blue J firmware on the ESCs, so you're gonna get the best flight time out of it that you can, 96 kilohertz uh, Blue J software. You can go in there and change the tune if you want. But Beta FPV says you can get up to six minutes and 40 seconds on one of these 550 milliamp hour batteries. And that may be true, but really um, right about five minutes is what I was getting uh, before it got to the point where I didn't want to fly because I don't want to ruin my batteries. That very well could be true. I could get six minutes and 40 seconds of flight time before it falls out of the air, uh, but I don't suggest you run your batteries down to that. So five minutes uh, and you'll be just fine. That's conservative. On a 450, I was flying them as well. You get a little bit lighter, um, but you're gonna get around four minutes of flight with one of those. Um, so that's what I was getting. Overall, I'm a big fan of this guy. 31 grams, 81 millimeters, just shy of 81 millimeters, motor post to motor post. It's awesome. It's awesome to see people doing things differently instead of just saying, hey, everything else is 65 or 75 or 85, right? Why not go 80? Maybe 80 is the sweet spot. And this is actually a whole lot of fun to fly. So if you're thinking about getting a tiny whoop, but you want something, you know, a little run on one S batteries, but still be able to uh, do some things outdoors, this just might be the quad for you. I absolutely would recommend this thing. And I'm thinking about picking up another one myself. Now this is analog and I'm kind of over analog. Um, I've been flying HD zero and that's actually what I think I want for my whoop. So, so yeah, I'm gonna have to pony up some dough to buy the uh, HD version, but I think in the end, gosh, it's so nice to fly. But in the end, it's so nice to fly HD. I, I love the HD zero that, I think is the way to go. And that is, I think what I'm gonna do, right? I really like this guy and uh, yeah, I haven't really tried flying this on throttle cut. I don't know why that didn't occur to me, but I think even on 2S indoors, this might just be a little bit big. This guy is still small enough to hit some gaps. So if you're looking for something fun uh, to fly around indoors and out, definitely take a look at this Beta FPV 75 Pro. I hope that was helpful. If it was, give us a thumbs up. Uh, make sure you check out our Patreon. If you're looking to get into the part 107, I've got a bunch of videos there. They are available to any of our Patreons uh, that'll pretty much walk you through the test from start to finish. Good luck everyone and happy flying.